Welcome to Raceway Central, and I'll tell you folks, it's a beautiful day for racing. Just moments ago, I spoke to the racers, and not one of them appeared to understand what was happening, or for that matter, why I was poking them with this pencil. All I know is, the winner walks away with a booty worthy of the golden ferret himself. And the losers, they'll be banished to the cave of blue popsicles. A sorry fate indeed. Well, it seems our racers are ready. So, on your mark, get set, go! Look, they're neck and neck and... Oh my, did he get in time and three has spun out of the puddle and thrown it first into flames? Oh, oh my goodness, the humanity, the guinea pig in time number three has crashed. I hope it's okay. Oh, it appears we have a winner, the hamster in car number two. Congratulations, my little friend. You've won the race. Yes, you won the brand new Habitrail Deluxe, the pellets, the colony of slave mice, and $20 cash. There you go. But you guys, I'm glad to see you survived the crash, Mr. Guinea Pig, but I'm afraid I'll have to banish you both to the cave of blue popsicles. There you will live out your meaningless lives in frozen squalor. We're back! Well, earlier Tom and I were talking about writing a little song for this show, and Tom suggested we do it while the show is being taped. So, Tom, explain what we're going to do here. Well, Al, we're going to digitally sample your voice, load it into my synthesizer, and then I think we'll write some music to it. Great, because I just have the thing to sample right here. Carpet samples. Oh, carpet samples. Okay, uh, anytime you're ready. Okay. okay. Now, you just speak into this microphone. Okay. You ready back there to get this? Let me get around here. Okay, ready? Ready. Deep Pile Scotch Guard, Antron 3, Fake Grass. Okay, now is this going to take a few seconds? This will take a little bit. Okay, well, while the pit band is composing, let's do Al's You Pick. You pick the next video. Tonight's choices are... Number one, Madonna, Express Yourself. Number two, Tom Petty, I Won't Back Down. And number three, Def Leppard, Photograph. Pick one of those. Okay, Tom, how are we doing? We're just about there, just about there. Great. Well, then I guess we can take a look at Al's You Pick results. Well, it looks like 63% Madonna. Congratulations, Madonna. I know you're watching at home. But before we show it, ready, Tom? I'm all set. Okay, what do you call this song? Well, it's called um, Al's Rug Song. Good name. Ladies and gentlemen, the Big Al Show Pit Band performing Al's Rug Song. Deep Pile Scotch Guard. Antron 3. If I could put time in a thermos... Oh, excuse me, I was just... never mind. There's peril around every corner in the cave of blue popsicles. The Big Al Show will return in a moment with Danny Mydlack, regardless of whether our little friend survives. Well, right now, it's my pleasure to bring out one of the regulars on the Big Show to introduce our next guest. He's everybody's friend from the queer carnival world. Copy the magic stick! Well, good to have you back, Copy. So where have you been the last few weeks? What? Did you hear that, folks? Cuppy's girlfriend had a baby. A love child. He brought them with you? Oh, she's beautiful. Siamese twins. Oh, congratulations, Cuppy. Now, um, I don't mean to pry, but why did you decide not to marry after you found out your lover was pregnant? Geez, I didn't mean to open up a can of worms. Uh, I'm really sorry about this. I, I didn't know I was going to set them off like that. My, where did you get that lovely spatula? Spatula City, we sell spatulas. Spatula City, we sell spatulas. And that's all. Well, look at this, the lowly spatula. Simple kitchen utensil, or relic left by ancient astronauts. What do you guys think? Well, it appears the ungrateful lot of beggars took off. See if I care. I only let them in here so I'd have something to look at during the commercials. You know, stop, enough of this charade. There's no sense trying to fool you. We ran out of time. 
rehearsal time. Money. You see, I had this spectacular, epic, choreographed conclusion, a, a big fight thing like the one in a, uh, Attack of the Giant Kangaroo Rats where Raymond Burr gets knocked down and the kangaroo rats gnaw on his leg. Only I was going to fight this giant gerbil in the cave of blue popsicles. Oh, he, he's over there. Hey, come out here for a second. Here you uh, Go ahead and show him how you're going to fight me. Come on, come on, claw me, claw me, claw me! He's a little depressed. This was his big break, and now it's shot to hell because somebody thought they could double our money in Atlantic City. What? Is it gerbil? No. Oh. Well, it doesn't matter now. All we had time for was a monologue. Wait a minute. The whole time I've been talking, I could have been doing the gerbil fight scene. The producers tricked me to save a few bucks. 